Welcome to the Spy Collection. I'm Anastasios and in this episode we'll see one more of the allegedly leaked US intelligence community documents from 2023. This was leaked in black and white and was about one of China's stratospheric balloons that got a lot of attention in mainstream media as it flew over several critical facilities of the US government and was eventually shot down. As always, we are in no position to assess the authenticity of this document. We are using it as an educational tool and in case it's real and authentic, also as a historical spy artifact for a collection. We have partially reconstructed this document, but unfortunately, neither the insignia of the producing agency nor its full title was visible. We can only read the last part of it, saying, Generation is consistent with that of intelligence, surveillance and reconnaissance systems. Let's first have a look at this image, titled Unidentified Structured Dimensions, where we see the estimated dimensions with an error of plus or minus 15%. This is immediately telling us that those estimations were part of IMINT analysis and we also see the image being tagged with PUM23006. This could imply that 23006 was the NGA's proper use memorandum for domestic image collection of this spy balloon. As we read, for example, in this 2009 declassified NGA domestic imagery manual, domestic imagery requesters and users, requesting organization shall, shall submit PUM requests on agency letterhand to NGO OIP via a single designated office for domestic imagery processing within the requester's organization. Each organization will identify an internal office that shall act as a single point of contact with NGA and will submit all domestic requests through that office. The requesting agency's office will review all PUM and domestic imagery requests before submission and request to ensure that each have a unique originator identification number. Considering this was indeed imagery taken domestically in the US in 2023, it's very likely that this is what this number is referring to. Interestingly, the US government publicly released this photo of it while the event was unfolding. And what is worth highlighting is that the right wing of the aircraft was covering the unidentified structure at the top of the spy balloon that we just mentioned. We cannot know if that was intentional or just a coincidence, of course. Here is a larger version of this image where we also learn the code name that the NSA was using for this spy balloon. It was called Keelin 23 and as it can be deduced from this document, NSA was using names of American mobsters followed by the year that those spy balloons were detected to give them a nickname. Specifically, this one was named after Donald Keeling. We can also read that it was classified as a Chinese stratospheric balloon. As we read, the large parabolic dish, approximately 1.2 meters in diameter, on the payload is steerable and consistent with ISR communications relay systems. However, a parabolic dish is not exclusive to ISR communications relays. It could be included for weather missions. Let's continue. National Space Intelligence Center engineers assess from the size of the solar panels that the system could generate upwards of 10,000 watts of solar power. This is about the same amount of power as a geostationary communication satellite uses after accounting for atmospheric loss and is more than enough to power and operate any ISR capabilities, including synthetic aperture radar. That's one of the very first references of a leak that shows us some of NASIC's capabilities when it comes to intelligence analysis. Additionally, the mention of the potential to operate SAR sensor. SAR is a relatively modern overhead spying technology where electromagnetic waves are transmitted sequentially and based on the received echoes, SAR reconstructs an image that is able to see things that EO sensors can't. For instance, penetrate clouds and some materials. So, being able to see otherwise hidden assets, ability to detect discrepancies in the ground, identify specific materials and their dimensions, 
detect some underground objects and many other things. Please let us know in the comment section if you'd like us to do an in-depth video on SAR. SAR could also explain the need for this amount of power generation. Continuing, we are reading that the amount of solar power generated by the panels on the Chinese stratospheric balloon that NSA named Kilin-23 is excessive for a weather balloon. Lastly, it says that we have no image recollections of the bottom of the Kilin-23 payload to analyze for an optical sensor. However, previous open source information tied to Belger 21, which circumnavigated the globe from December 2021 until May 2022, shows a full motion payload with a capability to zoom. Both full motion video and zoom are atypical for a weather balloon, especially at this altitude. So here we learned about another Chinese spy balloon that traveled the globe from 2021 to 2022. Its name Belger 21 was inspired by American mobster Witty Belger. And here is the photo mentioned that came from the US Air Force and it was originally from the Chinese manufacturer Eagles Men Aviation Science and Technology Group as we can see from its logo. The number 2 is described as a possible foil line gimbal sensor so the spy balloon could also do EO image recollection. The text in Chinese under the photo translates to Static Stratospheric Constellation System. Note that on February 10, 2023, the US Bureau of Industry and Security of the US Department of Commerce issued an update on the entity list to blacklist this and another five Chinese manufacturers associated with the incident. This announcement also gives us another hint into who was the actor that was operating those spy balloons. As we read, Today, the Commerce Department's Bureau of Industry and Security, BIS, added six entities in the People's Republic of China, PRC, to the entity list for supporting PRC's military modernization efforts, specifically those related to aerospace programs, including airships and balloons, and related to materials and components that are used by the People's Liberation Army, PLA, for intelligence and reconnaissance. Based on that, we can assume that those were missions for military intelligence gathering and or reconnaissance by the PLA. To make things more interesting, we have a third spy balloon, the Accardo 21, named after American mobster Tony Accardo, with an intercept image from the US Air Force. Number three are some unidentified sensors, number four a possible mast antenna, and number five possible panel sensors of the center payload. And here is another view of the Kilin 23, which also has the large parabolic antenna marked with number one. Sometimes it's easy to assume that world leading spy agencies would have all the answers. And this is a great example of how in real life things aren't that simple. Indeed, spy agencies like the NSA, NASIC, and the NGA have incredible resources available, but at the end of the day, it's the job of the intelligence professionals to use those resources effectively, do assessments, and occasionally, like in this case, there are still many unknowns. What is also worth noting is the increased media attention that the spy balloon that the NSA named as Chilling 23 received but there were at least two more such spy balloons in 2021 and 2022 that didn't receive any attention. All of that reminds us once again how nothing is as it seems.